In this video, we will see how we can use Cinemachine to easily set up a split screen for our game in just a few minutes. What we have here is a scene from the Anti-Graviator game. We already have our two players on the track, so the first thing we will do is add a Cinemachine brain on our main camera. This camera will be used as the Player 1 cam. We're going to duplicate it and rename our new camera to P2 cam. Next, we will create two virtual cameras that will be the follow cameras of our players. Let's assign the ship body to the follow and look at for each of our follow cams. For the body binding mode, we want to use the lock to target mode and we're going to modify a few of the other settings as well. For this case, I've already tested my values a few times and I know roughly what I'm aiming for. We're modifying the parameters of just one of the first virtual camera here so that we only have to duplicate it once we're done. In that way, we won't need to manually set the exact same values for the second follow camera. Now that we're happy with our follow cam, we can duplicate it and rename it to P2 follow cam. We must not forget to reassign the appropriate ship body as follow and look at since the one already specified is the P1 ship body. Now that we have our two cameras set up, we're going to go ahead and change the values of the viewport rect. In our case, we want a horizontal split screen with the player 1 at the top of the screen and the player 2 at the bottom, so we're going to set the Y axis to 0.5 for player 1 and minus 0.5 for player 2. As you notice, even though we have our two cameras set up, each with its own Cinemachine brain and two follow cameras, they both display the exact same view. This is normal, what we need to do is create a new layer for each camera in our split screen. The first one will be the player 1 cam layer and the other will be the P2 cam layer. Next we'll assign the P1 follow cam to the P1 cam layer and the P2 follow cam to the P2 layer. Another important thing to do is to exclude the other cameras from the culling mask of each camera. In our case, we will exclude the P2 cam from P1 camera's calling mask and the opposite for P2 cam. As soon as we change this, our split screen setup is complete. Remember, you can do this with as many cameras as you like. Thanks for watching.